WDFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with your afternoon update, and I've put a chart up in the Tiger's Den of the Treasury bond market, folks. We're having one of the strongest days in Treasury bonds that we've seen in over a year. This is in face of interest rates going higher. When interest rates go higher, bond prices should go lower. That is not happening, so that's telling you that this is a flight to quality. People are looking for a place to hide their money. And if you're listening to the news, you know, Bloomberg, CNBC, NBC, CBS, they're talking about the 16th largest bank in the United States was closed today, halted for trading. A year ago, it was trading at $720 a share. And today, at the close of trading, it was trading at $39 a share. And boys and girls, I can promise you one thing, that it will not open at 40 and it will not open at 39 that's because someone's going to be picking up that bank for pocket change, which was $720 a share just a year ago. They'll probably be able to buy it for somewhere between 8 and $3. And below $3, nobody will want it, but that's pretty much it. Bear Stearns in 1987 was trading for roughly $250, and it went down to $2 a share. If you ever saw you know, some of those movies about the crash of Wall Street, that's uh, – that's, that's what the movie Wall Street was about, uh, was about Bear Stearns, actually. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to today. The, the interesting thing is uh, using the statistics of the market, we're now down more than three standard deviations on the day. That happened at 38.80, and uh, we're, we got as low as 38.45, I believe, something like that. If we close anything below 38.80, folks, it's going to look awfully bad uh, coming into this week. So you've got to be really careful. Protect yourself. Make sure you're using a stop. And I'll be doing uh, David White's show next, which one of my favorite quotes. He says, sell when you want to, not when you have to. So make sure that you got to stop in to protect your capital because these markets have a tendency to go a lot farther than your equity can handle. So it's very, very important to follow a really good strategy of not being able to be trapped in something that you can't get out of. Very, very important. We'll be right back with Fibonacci 24-7 a la David White. Larry sending in for him today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and we'll be back with you in a few moments. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest